Tommy, obviously a hectic day on Saturday, but a brilliant day. Has have things calmed down a little bit this week for training? Yeah, I mean, obviously it was a, <clears throat> it was a great occasion and uh, something that's going to go down for a long time in people's memories, certainly the people that were there, but even when we found out that the, the record that, w- that was broken in terms of the goals we scored, it's in the annals of history of the, the greatest cup competition in the world. But, you know, as soon as it's gone in terms of we're on the bus and on the way home, certainly the staff's focus is on the next game. And I know it's a cliche, but that is that is how we have to work here. So <clears throat> we've had Kidamin staying out, you know, on the in our vision since since the end of the game, really. Um, and we're looking forward to the weekend where there's there's more points to be had. And just one quick end bit about the FA Cup. Obviously, we haven't had a chance to speak about the draw. Stockport County at home, they're a side in brilliant form. But, you know, when, when they come into our place, we can certainly give them a game, can't we? Well, I think we can give anybody a game anywhere we go. If we play and approach the game in the manner that we did on Saturday, you know, Swindon are a good side. They're in the top 10 of the, the same division as Stockport. Um, yeah, so listen, that on the flip side of having the Swindon on Saturday, Stockport is over the horizon for, for as far as we're concerned. Um, so we have three or four games in the league to play before then. There's, there's points to be played for. We want to accrue as many points as we can in the league in conjunction with, with trying to progress further in the FA Cup. But at this moment in time, all our focus is on the Kidder and Harry's game. Um, and like I said, we, we give every opposition that we have the same respect. We do our, our due diligence and we try to find a, a way of winning the game. So thankfully it went well, very well last Saturday. It didn't go so well the Saturday before that at Dorking. But um, hopefully we can get back on the horse, as, as it were, and, uh, and try and get back to winning ways in the league. Exactly. Obviously, the Dorking result wasn't great, but we, we got that win in the Cup and, and that would have given a boost to the confidence and, and to the momentum of the team to take forward for Saturday. Yeah, I mean, I think the gravity of the game and, and the emphatic scoreline, you know, sort of raised people's eyebrows outside the building. But we felt for quite a while that somebody was going to get hit with a load of goals. Um, I think nobody in here would have expected it to have been Swindon, um, but the start that we had made it that little bit more. You know, the shackles were off for us very early with, with having scored three goals in such a short period of time. Um, but it's a little freaky. We understand that, you know, the fact that they they've got a few back makes us understand that we still got plenty to work at. So the players have been excellent so far this week in training. We have one more session on Friday morning, and um, hopefully we'll go into the into the Kidderminster game as well prepared as we have for every other game. I heard, uh, and I don't quote many managers very often, but I heard Mr Postacoglu talking after his defeat on, on Monday and I thought he hit it bang on the, on the head when he said, anybody chases that elusive win that you've got to have, you've got to be yourself. And we, that was us being ourselves last week. Um, and we want to turn up to every game that we play in giving the best version of we can of ourselves. And as long as they do that, win, lose or draw, I'll be, I'll be pleased and proud of the group. Um, but yeah, of course, we're in it to win it, simple as that. Of course, it's the remembrance um, game as well, with a lot of proceedings before kick-off. So it'll be good to get a, a good result for the town of Aldershot as well, won't it? Absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm very well aware of the history of our town and, and the, the relationships we have with the military and the armed forces in general. So, you know, I know there's a lot of people in the world these days are critical of, of things that have gone on historically and, and remembrance but you know at the end of the day people who sacrifice what they sacrifice to let us do what we do today need to be remembered um, and I'm, I'm sure one million percent that everybody in the ground at the EBB on Saturday will definitely show impeccable respect for that and, and I'm looking forward to it because I hear it's a big thing as well obviously. On the pitch, well, you know, it, taking that confidence from Saturday is certainly something that we'll do. And as you've alluded to a little bit, is is it that confidence in within the team that we can face any opponent and play the way that we want to and, and enforce ourselves? Yeah, I mean, like I just said there about being yourself, we have to we have to have an identity. We have to know what we're good at, and we have to work harder at what we're not so good at. So, whether we have confidence or not, that will come with results, as I said. But. Um, what the constant is, there'll always be a next game. So if we win, lose, or draw, how we respond to every one of them is really important for us as a staff. You know, it's it's be easy to to use that famous term of after the Lord Mayor show because everybody has been so quite understandably, you know, singing and ringing our praises all over the place nationally. You know, we've been in the national papers on TV. The players have been, you know, absolutely lauded for their for their exploits at, at the county ground. But that's gone. You know, it simply has. I'm not being a you know, uh, 
the bearer of bad you know tidings or anything but it has gone for us so don't get me wrong at the end of the season we can celebrate it but but um it's all about getting more points in the league and as many points in the league as we possibly can because where we are at the moment is a reflection of our first 19 games i want us to be at least the same after the next 19 games